This section is on apportionment with Adam's method. All right, Adam's method is very, very similar to Jefferson's method. The only difference here is that we are using uh, upper quota instead of lower quota. Okay, so uh, uh, step one again, we're finding a suitable divisor. All right, D. So we're manipulating that number so that we get the amount of seats to come out right. Um, step two use that to complete each modified quota and in step three instead of lower we are using upper quota this time so pretty much the exact same process as Jefferson's method so if you haven't seen the video on uh, Jefferson's method yet I suggest you go back and watch that first because I'm gonna go through this method a little bit uh, more quickly alright uh, the step one part so we find a suitable divisor uh, a number that was picked for this one, let's say we picked uh, 50,500, that's, uh, now let's think back really quick, remember when we got, when we had the standard quota with the standard divisor, we were, we got 246 back in the original problem, and uh, we had four seats to fill in the gap, so either using Hamilton's to, um, you know, give out surplus seats, or Jefferson's to manipulate the numbers so that we don't have the gap. Um, and this one, we're doing the exact same thing. Again, we're just using upper quota instead of lower quota. All right, here's a, here's a chart. And I'm not going to work this one out fully. I'm just going to show you the numbers that uh, don't work and that do work. So uh, here's the standard divisor. Oh, sorry, not the standard divisor. That's our first modified divisor. Okay, so we instead of using 50,000, we went up to 50,500. Okay, so um, may, maybe that's what's going to work for us. Uh, when we give everybody the upper quota, so 32.59, that rounds up to 33. Uh, 137.35. Traditionally, yeah, that'd round down, but um, in Adam's method, we were rounding everything up. So to 138, 3.05 goes up to 4. All right. Um, and when we total all these, it comes out to 251. So that's actually pretty close. So we're going to change this divisor just by a little bit and see what happens. So let's do the, we're going to use 50,700. Okay. So our our amount of seats right here, that was too large, so we're making a larger divisor to make some of our numbers a little smaller. Um, so again, we're doing the population of each state divided by the new divisor. Okay, so 1,646,000 divided by 50,700, and that's what gets us 32.47. Next we have... Next we have... Um, 6,936,000, we're going to divide that by 50,700 to get 136.8, okay, and so on and so forth. This divided by this will give us 3.04, and uh, after we get all these, we're going to round all these up, so the 32.47 becomes 33, and the 136.8 uh, rounds up to 137. So I think uh, state B here, this is the one that makes the difference here. We have 138 that becomes 137. So that's the one that brings us down uh, one seat to our total of 250. So yes, that one worked out pretty nicely. Um, the only thing with Adam's method is that it can produce lower quota violations. So where Jefferson's uh, produced upper quota, uh, Adam's method can produce lower quota violations. So it's really not any better than Jefferson's method.